Okay, welcome everyone. Today is February 1st, 2016, and it's a cold day. Everybody noticed the snow? How could you miss it, right? <laughs> was it cold out there, Larry? Yes, yes it was. was it, is it windy still? Windy and kind of cold, yeah. Okay, windy and cold. Um, Good morning, Garrett. Good morning, Dennis. How are you? How are you? Good. We're a little bit cold here. Same here. Same here. Cold. Tomorrow cold. you'll see a picture posted for the Google event that has snow on the nearby hills. Right over there. Yeah. So, you know, we're at what, about 2,000 feet? 2,100 feet here? Yeah, I think we're about 2,000 feet. And uh, I think the snow line got down to about 3,000 feet, maybe 2,500. But uh, it was cold and windy yesterday. So, um, any housekeeping things you want to talk about? That's what Tony Shea does. <laughs> No, no, nothing. Okay, good. We're trying to find out on ice, ice, and coming out. Working on what? Ice, ice, and Okay, so we have that kooky microphone. You know, Dennis, I don't think it's your equipment. Uh, I think that there's an internet issue there because when I was on my uh, hangout with Francisco, mm -hmm. I noticed that you guys have a lot of latency in with your internet. It seems to be very slow. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can't really hear you because it's just you don't have enough bandwidth to be doing this. So uh, I don't know. We'll try to figure out maybe Rose or somebody can see if there's another uh, internet service that we can get for there that's faster. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, that I would normally say that's a Sherry question about right, internet right. there, but she's not going to be doing the internet. But I think it's time to look for a change because your internet there is very expensive compared to what it is here. Okay. It's like twice as expensive. Right. Someday, someday. Okay. All right. Well, let, can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. I can. Good. Okay. So let's talk about Google Apps like we normally do. So everybody should have a composition book. And in that composition book is a table of contents. And you have a bunch of things in your table of contents, and one of them, one of the entries should say Google Apps, like that. Unfortunately, we have a glare. We're going to have to figure out maybe what we're going to need to do, Phyllis, is bring those lights in. I think they'll especially be useful on Fridays. Okay. So you have a table of contents in your con in your composition book. And there should be an entry that says Google Apps. And that should point to a page that's called Google Apps. And let's say that's page X. And that page should be an odd numbered page, not even numbered. So that means it's on the right side of your book. So here's my composition book, and then my table of contents, and then I have um, page four in my book is Google Apps. But it shouldn't be page four, it should be page five. So, and then from there, I have a list of all of the Google Apps that we have and the page number of each Google app. 
So you have whatever the first one you had for week one, maybe Gmail. What are the other Google apps? What's Drive. another Google app? Drive. Drive. Calendar. Calendar. Maps. Voice. Maps. Voice. Voice. YouTube. YouTube. Google Plus. Google Plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are missing what? No, no. Chrome. Right. Okay. That's what should be on that page. And then it should have page numbers for each app. Okay, because this book, your composition book, isn't like a yellow pad. It's not where you write notes, you rip the notes out, and you throw them away. This is a permanent thing. This is your reference manual for when you go to work. When you have a job, this is your reference manual for that. So uh, you want to keep this, and you want to have it organized. So if you go to work and you need to find something on Google Drive, you should have it in your notes. And you should also subscribe to the school's YouTube stuff. So if you have to go to, say, Google+, Plus, you don't remember how to do something, you can go into the library and you can look at uh, the tutorial videos we have. Or you could look at the, this class, because we, we save every video. Every video is added to the library. So that's what you need to do. And so uh, today, we're doing a different app that's not, it's, a, it's a, an app called MindMup. So this is another app that should be on that page. It's called MindMup 2.0. We're going to do that this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 10 o'clock, the Jesuit will be here. Tuesday? Thursday. What time did he come in? At 11 on Friday, right? Or Thursday. He was here at 11. So, um, and he only stayed for a few minutes. But today we're going to be doing MindMup, which is a cloud app. It is not a Google, it's not made by Google, but it's made to be compatible with Google. So we're going to do that, and that's for mind mapping. Hopefully everybody's seen the tutorial video that they produced. Okay, does anybody here have MindMup on their system yet? Okay, so how do we go? I'm going to share my screen. So, Dennis, you can see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Correct. So, how do we get to. Oops. How do we get to Mind Month? What do we do? What's well, the first thing I do? Gotta go to Drive, right? Nope. Because I, I don't have it on my machine. So, you gotta go to Google Store. Okay, so I open a tab. Why do I open a tab? A new tab? Jesus, why do I open a new tab? Right. Why do I do that, Jesus? Because if I don't open a new tab, it's going to overwrite a tab I'm already working on. Okay. So now, I need to go to the Chrome Web Store. How do I get there? Click on what? Chrome Web Store. I can do that. Ed is saying it's on here. And I don't see it on the nine square grid. Always, there's always more than one way to do things in Google. So as Phyllis just said, I can go to the colored nine square grid over on the left side that says apps. Web Store. And that's right. Now in the lower right hand corner it says Web Store. So I click on that. Okay. Does 
everybody there? Larry, you there? Good. Now what do I do? Punch it in. Right. I type in mind map, mind map. I think that's what I do. All right. I type in mind map. How many show up on yours? Three. Okay. Now we want the one that says mind map 2.0. Add to Chrome. Add to Chrome. Right. Okay. Add, app. Add the app. Now, when you do that, where does it show up? On your nine, well, or your nine grid was. Right. Where you colored nine grid. Right. It's on that apps page. So what you need to do on mine, I have more than one page, so I want to drag it to the front page, and I'm going to put it right there. Well, if you have arrows on the sides like this, you have more than one page. Or if it's full, another hint is, if it's full, guess what? There's probably another page. You won't have more than one page if it's not full, I don't think. Okay, so. Now, let's launch MindMup 2.0. How do we do that? On Just click on it once. Okay. And then, this is what you should get. Do you see this, Dennis? Dennis? I'm sorry. Do you see what's on my screen? Yes, I do. Okay, so everybody should be here. And then we have, down over on the lower left, create a new map. And then let me know when you get to the spot. So let me know when you get here. Are you here, Jesus? Larry? Ed? Did he launch my map? Yes. Scroll down below the... Thing. Yeah, yeah. The blue button. Good morning. So is everybody here, Dennis? Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. Right. Yes, director. Uh, we're good. Okay, Dennis, is everybody at this page? Yeah, we're we we this Okay, so what is mind mapping? What is mind mapping? Larry, what would you say? What would you guess? Mind map. Okay. Ed? Probably the idea that you map out your head. Okay. No idea? All right, so what is what is a map? A map is directional 
a graphical representation of something of of different places, right? Okay, and what is mind? Your thought process. Is it like I don't mind because you don't matter? No, it's your brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mind is something that's created by your brain. It exists, but nobody knows exactly where it is. Okay, it's a function of your brain. But if you go in somebody's brain and you say, okay, where is the mind? Where's the mind? You say, well, I see this part, I see the cerebral cortex, I see the this, but I don't see the mind. It's sort of like consciousness. Um, so this is a way to map ideas, like for projects. And it works kind of the way our brains work, in that it is, um, it's easy to throw stuff up there and come back and find it later. So I'll open up a map that I have created. So this is the TV station map. So you see how this works with um, Google Plus, I mean Google Drive. I pulled it, it saves it to Google Drive, I can find it in Google Drive, I can share it with people in Google Drive. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to collapse it down. <clears throat> okay, so it's called TV station. Okay, so what I want you to do is title your maps, employment, employment plan, and then your initials. So that's going to be right up on the top folder. So again, like in, like in Google thing where it says untitled map, click on that and change it to employment plan. Oh, hey, here's good news, everyone. California, here's some good news. Okay. Are you ready for it? Sure. Our campus at Casa Grande is opening tomorrow. All right. Okay, so that will be a very historic day. The state of Nevada is the head of California and that a licensed post-secondary school is actually operating a campus inside, inside of a state prison. So, and the credit goes to Dennis and Rose and all of the students in California that make this possible. And Phyllis, because she makes this place possible. And Edward Edge, because he went to Casa Grande. <laughs> and everyone else. Okay, so, you have a map. Does everybody have their map titled? Okay. And your initials. Okay, so Now the box that's in the center. Click on it so there's a blue jagged lines around it should be. And then just hit the space bar. And you'll see the cursor show up. No, no. Click on the box, the blue box that's in the center. Right here. And then hit the space bar. And now you can type whatever you want in there and type employment plan. You say this one is employment plan. What? You said this one you want to employment Employment plan. And then their initials. You got it. Okay. Now, before we get started too far along, over in the right hand corner, I want you to share the map. And in California, you should share it with, with Dennis and Rose. And here, share it with. Phyllis and now just still share it with Larson 
dot gladius eighty eight at gmail dot com. Okay, here that's where we share. Yeah, so when you click share. Here, 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 here. Larson eighty eight at gmail dot com. Okay. With anyone? First time? Huh? First time? Yes. No notes at any record? No notes at Huh? No notes at Add a note? No, no. Don't do that right now. Okay. So now you've got your first mind map created. You've titled it and you've shared it. Now for a minute I want you to watch what I'm doing up here to show you what, how the mind map, some of the features that it has. So one of the things, and write this in your book on your page that is, uh, your mind map page, if you select, uh, each of these boxes are called nodes. N-O-D-E. Okay. That's called a node. This is the kind of thing you want to do at night or in the morning when you have time to think. And it can help you really organize your thoughts. So, if you click on the node, A node that'll have that jagged line around it, that dashed blue line. Now, if you hit the tab key, a sub node will open up. Okay? But now watch this. So, when you have sub nodes, now what I want you to do uh, is just type something in there for the name of that sub node. Just type in some characters. So click inside of that sub node. Name, name, name. Just type some characters. Click back on your main node, your parent node, and then hit the F key. Hit F key. Yeah, just hit your F key, and this is what will happen. It expands it or collapses it. Okay, so if you look at my thing, okay. what you'll see is it has that main note that's in blue, and now it has four, I mean it has five subnotes. Okay. It has five subnotes. Okay. Okay, next on. Okay, so what problem is Jesus having? Uh, he's just trying to get his... There's no problem to the side. Well, to move your node around, you select a node and you just drag it. No, I mean, as for he wants to get a node, he just press space bar after he clicks on the blue spot, right? Well, he puts the center. No, no. If you have a space bar, that means you can type. Okay. Hit enter. Now hit the tab key. Hit enter. Yeah, to get rid of the, you're in typing okay. mode. And then tab key. Space bar. Right. No, tab. Okay. Now you put space bar allows you to type. Okay. Space bar allows tab opens up sub things. No. Okay. Now after he gets his no uh, tapped in, he just press on the center section again, right? 
Yeah. But what I want you to do is watch up here so you can see what you can do. I don't want to get too focused on creating nodes and expanding and collapsing. But the two things that you should know right now is how to create a node. Create node. Edit node. And expand, collapse. No. Okay. So how do we create a node? Creating node. You press enter and then tap. Right. Yeah. Well, you might not have to press enter. You only have to press enter to get out of edit mode. Okay. So you just hit tap. Okay. To edit, you hit spacebar. When you have the node selected, you have to select the node that you want to edit, and then you hit spacebar. And to expand or collapse your mind map, you hit F key. F expand, F collapse. F expand, F collapse. And if you look at the screen, these things across the top here also enable you to do that. But it's faster if you use your fingers than your mouse on some things. So watch this now. So look up here. So I'm in a, this is my, that's how the map starts. That is one level. Now I'm going to select over here under programming. And what do I do if I want to expand it? F. F. Okay. So now you see under programming, what do I have? I have four subnotes: people, places, events, Italian. If I want to see people, I hit what to expand it? I do what? F. And then I have different types of people. How about over here under local stations? What's this paper clip? Picture. Yep. No file. So, I, if I create a document in Drive, I can attach it to the node. And what do I have in this document? A bunch of notes, and what else do I have? Links. Yeah. Okay, so now if I close that, let's see what these numbers are. Okay, so these are just a spreadsheet. So this is a way to make it easy to clearly think your way through projects. So we're going to go to our map. File. I'm going to do a new map. So I push new. How do I change the name of this map? Go back to the center. I go up here. And I type in employment. Planning director. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, how do I change that blue box? Hey, Seuss. Click on it. Click on it. Push space. Space bar. And I type employment planning, right? And then I hit enter. So everybody should have this on their screen. Now we have a gibberish one, right, that you just type some stuff in. Go into that one, select it, so expand your thing, hit F, expand it. Hit the space bar, then type in dream position, and then hit enter. What does that mean? 
I don't know. I'm going to have to write a note. So I can either right click and then go up here where it says edit notes. And I type in there, if you do what you love, you will never work a day in your life. Now, we'll try to write it. What would I do if I could do anything in all the So I write kind of description of well, what does this mean, dream job, dream position. And then when I want to hide that, notes, watch this. When I want to hide the notes, I go up here to the last little icon on the right, and I click hide. Dream job, that is? Dream position. Now, but I want to clarify that even more. So I'm going to say tab. And I'm going to write in do or free. And then I want to create another tab, and so now I hit enter twice. Enter to get out of it and enter to create another one. Hey, to do. What would I pay? I'd love it so much I'd pay to do this. And then I hit enter. Now, in the last couple of weeks, you've been writing on Fridays in our quizzes what those jobs are, right? Okay. So what you do now is you choose either one of these two. Well, would I do it for free or do it for pay? I click on it and I type in whatever it is. Okay. I just write things in. Whatever I would do for free. Or what I would pay to do. Yeah. Now to go up to the side like that, you would right click and insert child. Well, you can do that too. Or you can just hit tab. Okay. Right click and then no, not right click, just hit tab. Now have that note selected. And goes off straight out. Yeah, because you only have one note. It will automatically adjust. Yeah. As you know, so see this one added? Okay. Watch. Now I want to create another one. Mm -hmm. See how it automatically changes? Okay, it just moves up. All right. It automatically redoes itself. So right. don't worry about where it is right now. So the dream position and then Okay. <laughs> so do for free. Now let's go back to the dream position. Click on it, hit the space bar, and then bring the cursor all the way to the left and type the number one and hit space. What does that mean? That's the first step in the employment planning process, right? And then I'm going to collapse everything. You would pay to do, you would either pay to do it or you'd do it for free. I like this job so much, I'd do it free. Well, I like this job so much, I'd pay to do it. There was a movie that came out with um, uh, Bradley Cooper, where he's a chef, in front, and he's a world famous chef. Somebody wants to work for him. He's doing his interview. He says, "Well, would you work for me for free?" And the guy says, "Yeah." He says, "Okay. Well, would you pay me to work for me?" Okay. So those are the two categories. And then you just put your jobs out there. Now let's click on the tab that says Dream Position. 
hit the space bar, move the cursor all the way to the left, and then put a number one in a space. And then hit enter. Do you have that, Jesus? So your dream position should be number one, because that's the first step of the employment planning process. Once you have the number one space, you hit enter, and then hit the F key to collapse everything down so your screen should look like my screen. Okay, how you doing, Larry? All right. Beautiful. F. F key. The F. Okay, now. Let's hit tab again. Oops. Not tab again. Sorry. Move the cursor back over to the home node. And now hit tab again. And then put in number two. What's the second step in our employment planning process? What's the second step? Uh, no. So what's the second step? In the employment planning process, the first step is decide, figure out what you want to do. Find three to five employers. Okay. So the second node <coughs> is possible employers. You just type possible employers in the node. Number two. Put the number two. So your button should look, your node should look like this. Two possible employers. Okay. You press enter. Now I make sure it's still selected and I go and add a note. So I can either go right up here to the note button or I can right click and go to edit note. And when I do that, you see what happens? Over on the right, the panel opens up. Now I have number two. Choose three to five employers who do what I want to do. And then you hide that. So you're back to this. Now your screens probably look like this. No. Phyllis, can you help Larry? Thinks he deleted everything. You might get the backspace key. Spot or edit. Or right below the edit key is undo. Okay. So Ed Jesus, does your screen look like this? I'm getting there. <laughs> No. Okay, what is what does your screen look like? Does it look like that? Yeah. Okay. So click on dream position and hit the F key to collapse it. Okay, have you done that? Yeah, but F is in put your cursor on the blue. Press click. Okay, so you look like that, right? Okay, now select this one that says dream position. What does select me? Hold down the left mouse button and drag it over here. So you'll see a little left arrow pull it. And then your screen will now look like that. Okay, so we're going to move on to what's the third step. So we can click on the blue and hit tab, or we can go to possible employer and go all the way in our toolbar, all the way to the left that says insert child. No, I don't want to insert child. So if you make a mistake, you hit escape. I want to insert sibling. 
What's the third step in our employment plan? What's the third step? What's step number three? Larry, I know you got it. What's step number three in our employment planning workshop that we did two weeks ago? Uh, resume? Close. Research. Oh, research. So number three is research. What do you mean you're lost? Oh, yeah, I got the notes somewhere. I just got to find them. Okay. So, Ed, all you need to do is add another note. Okay, I'm stuck on the two, the two possible employers, and it says choose three or four, five employers that do that. So I'm off to the screen like this, and then how do I get into uh, the known tool over two, two possible employers? Okay, you click right here, hide sidebar. Hide sidebar. Okay. Okay. So let me know when your screen looks like that. You need to add another note. You might need to collapse your notes down so that it looks like that. So don't tell yourself this is hard. You need to say this is easy. When I collapse, when I collapse my notes, all of them collapse. Because you have it selected on here and you're going one step too far. So hit F again. Okay, so once I got it collapsed, press F. Yeah. Now, if this node is, if your screen looks like that, is that what it looks like? No. It looks like this, this, the center I have with that. One right side collapsed. So it's just the blue part. Like that. Uh -huh. So you hit F again. Okay, so F. Let's, okay, but it opens everything. Okay, so it like, looks like that? No, and I have one off to the right and to the Okay. It doesn't matter. Whichever one is off, the one that says number one dream position, select that. Okay, I got that. And hit F. Okay. 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 Every node can expand and collapse. Every oh. node can expand and collapse. Oh, no. So whatever node you have active, you can hit F to expand it or F to collapse it. So you should have this. Now, if your step is off to the right, Select the thing and just drag it over to the left. Okay, now, number three is research. What is step number four? Create a plan. And then you hit enter. What's step number five? Okay. Right. And what's step six? Okay, so you add a sibling. Six is get a job. Hit enter. So your screen should look like that. I'm going to move mine over. So mine looks like that. Okay. So now it goes counterclockwise from the left. And I can arrange it any way I want. So if I was going to do this again, I would rearrange it. Okay. So it went like a clock. And I'm going to do that. So you can just drag these things wherever you want.
So we start with the dream position, we go to possible employers, research. Oops. This goes this way. How did you add your note? How did you add your note? You hit the tab key, you find the tab where you are, and you can hit enter or add a sibling. So let me know when you have this. As soon as everybody gets to this level, we'll quit for the day. So you should have Okay, so remember, this is easy, so don't tell yourself this is hard. should have a mind map that has six nodes that look like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. You start at one and you work your way around. It's not hard to do. Okay, so where are you having problems, Ed? Um, I'm still stuck on the two and four. Over here, select that. Go right click and click uh, uh, no, right. insert sibling. This one right here. It's very easy. Two possible things. Right click, okay. insert sibling. Okay. Now I put it. Now you click in there. It's already clicked. You hit the space bar, and you type number three, what? Research. Okay. Then you hit enter. Then you right click, and do what? Insert sibling. Enter. Okay, now you put number four, create a plan, enter, right click, insert sibling, five, execute the plan, enter, right click, insert sibling, six, get a job, enter. Dennis, how are you doing? Okay, good. So the, idea, the basic things to know are how to create a node, how to edit a node, how to expand or collapse. That's all we're focused on today. How to create a node, how to edit a node, and how to expand or collapse. And then later today, if George is not coming in, work on your mind map, your mind map all day. So if you look at my screen, what you'll see under possible employers is I numbered them one, two, three, four, five. And I would put them in there. And when I did the notes, I would put in the link to their web page. Okay? 
Now, how do we save this? How do we save this? Oh, it's already in drive. You don't need this. Thing. Correct. All changes saved in drive. Okay, so this is what people are now doing is private companies are creating apps that work as sub apps to Google Cloud apps. Why? Because Google is getting so powerful, so many people are using it, that people say, hey, I want to create an app that Google will use and I can incorporate it into Google Drive or whatever. Okay. Well, you haven't seen anything yet. So <laughs> let's close that and we'll end for today. Six is get a job. So what you want to do on each of those nodes is you want to add notes. How do we add a note? You uh, press that. No, a note, not a note. Oh, no, you go to a uh, note, edit, text notes. Yeah. Okay, so when in doubt, you can always start with right click. When you have a note that's selected, you can always start with right click. Okay, California, looks like everybody's got their head down working. That's great. So we're going to call it a day. Okay. Maybe what we want to do is get our employment plans worked out. Ultimately, we will share those with uh, our, our uh, counselors or people helping us get jobs because the more they see the more that you care about yourself, the more they're going to care about you. And uh, so who was that person that you spoke to? Renata. Renata. We'll share this with her. So she's going to see... Hey, Head is really serious about this. He's got a good idea. And then what's she going to do? She's going to come over here and visit us. And then what? <laughs> Send more people. Right. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, California, for being there. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay.